Hey guys, welcome back to a new video from me. This time I want to make a candle holder and I cut a round out of the um, crystal mud I have from Modes and Shapes and I'm using their round deep mold. It's the smallest one and I want to pour a flower and on top I want to pour later a crackle effect. So I'm starting with my flower. I placed my crystal in layer and I'm using for this pour, this time the Art Pro resin from the Resin Pro company. I did another pour and I thought I just um, use it further. So I'm giving my resin a quick go with the heat gun because um, there were a few air bubbles. It's normal when the resin is standing a little bit. So I'm just trying to get all the bubbles out, which are trapped also at the um, very thin in layer. The in layer is really a very thin mass, mass or mud. <laughs> People, you will correct me. So um, anyway, in my center, I'm gonna pour two drops of the red bead. It's a resin ink from Octopus, which I received as a present from Sandra Rettich when I was win visiting her. So thanks again, Sandra. And I really like this color. So I let it spread a little bit. And meanwhile, I'm mixing my white. I just need to get a paper towel. So um, I'm using for my white the angel white from the rest, which I received from Laura's art corner. So thanks again, Laura. It's still the old one, in brackets, the old one where I had this accident where my interference gold um, was falling in, but only a few powder bits, but it's contaminated with another color. So I'm urgently waiting for, for my new angel white, but it's in the post. Laura promised it, and I guess it's now in the Be Belgium customs. <sighs> yeah, so what I'm also doing, I want to mix No, I'm just taking the white. I thought I mixed something else underneath. I didn't do it <laughs> Yeah, there I was um, thinking um, am I pouring out of the cup or do I try to make flowers with the popsicle stick. I'm not too good using the popsicle stick and actually I really need to practice this so you will see me struggling a little bit but I think the end result it's all that's counting. Also always cleaning my stick because I don't want the color the resin to be too colored. I want to see rather outside a lot of white and you see what I'm doing. Maybe sometimes I'm just emphasizing too much and that's um, why I struggle. Maybe I choose, should just let it fall into the resin, but I always try to draw sort of design and well. <laughs> yeah, I'm just continuing with the petals. I'm just going around. Yeah, this mold, I don't know if I just said it, it's two centimeter deep. It's a casting mold and it's the first time I'm really using it. So I thought maybe I go with a two layered pour and do my flower first and then the sort of crackle effect and to see how it turns out.
yeah, you see, I'm still trying to get my flower pattern. And now I'm just going a little bit around. Just, yeah, just drawing it how I feel. With this technique, I still have to really practice a lot, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, I'm just using most of my white because there's still a lot in there. Always make sure that I mix enough. Because when I started doing resin, I sometimes didn't have enough at all. So. I hope it's not going to be too boring what I'm doing, that you see it. Um, if it's too boring, just I don't mind if you speed up. So, yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure that there's enough resin in there and I'm really taking my time. I'm really going in several layers. And now I can start drawing my petals, just cleaned up the mold a little bit. And I'm not making a big, big um, petal design. I'm just making sure I have like five leaves or five petals. And then I go into the middle again of those petals to have some more petals. Yeah, and this is now two days later because I didn't have time to pour. I was in Germany for a day and this is now my color for the crackle effect. And I'm using the Anthracite from Petra Jungblut. Just make sure you mix it very, very well. Also here, it's the Art Pro Resin from the Resin Pro Company. And my second color, it's a baby's breath. It has a silver sheen to it and it's a mica from Laura's Art Corner. Also here, thanks Laura for supporting me with this awesome mica. I really like this a lot. I also stir this in very, very well. And then I make sure that I make a thin, clear layer on top of my flower and let it spread to the edges. Yeah, I'm helping there a little bit. And I'm taking my anthracite and I pour a puddle on top, just in the center. As you can see, I'm pouring from rather up high. Now, my baby's breath, the white color. And I'm alter altering those colors. Yeah, at that point, I hope um, if my flower works, I hope I don't ru ruin it. But I like the idea, like a stony um, background for my flower. And I think you can realize this very well with a deep mold. And now I just put clear on top and push my colors out. As you can see, they are still not to the edge, but this will come because the resin is working. And yeah, I have to admit, I wanted to show you the unmolding. My camera stopped, but this is the final result. I really, really love it. And I think it looks quite elegant. 
and yeah the sort of pinkish color together with the silver anthracite color in the background with the crackle effect i think this looks really awesome the crystal effect in the center and look at that you have really a wonderful 3d effect and i think it's a nice candle holder yeah i'm sorry that i didn't film the unmolding but yeah that's the thing with the camera i hope you liked the video if you did please give me a thumbs up if you are not subscribed, please, I would be happy if you would do. And always welcome for a comment. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.